pretty outside it's raining but I'm in a good mood so today I decided to do a hair video which was nice but it didn't actually come out the way I pictured it but it still came out nice so I've got a hair tutorial on this um, and also I decided to do a makeup video because I love makeup you guys know that today I use Colourpop eyeshadows these two eyeshadows, absolutely love them. The colors are absolutely amazing, they're gorgeous. So I wanted to bring like a pop of color to my video. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different to what I usually do. The style that I use to do this makeup look is different. I didn't even apply a wing liner. I absolutely love wing liners because of the way they make um, my eyes look. But I didn't need to do, it with, to do it with this because of the way I did the eyeshadow. If you would like to see how I achieve this makeup look, then keep on watching and I'll see you guys in a bit. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think about this look in the comment box. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm going to start by priming my face and I'm using the Becca primer. And I'm concentrating it on my T-zone. That's why I really get oily and I'm spreading it all over my face. I use the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in Cappuccino and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte um, poreless foundation I mix them together and uh, on as my foundation I'm applying uh, LA Girl Pro concealer in fun to highlight um, my face um, I've got a highlighting and contouring video I'm gonna link that on the screen so that you can watch it and see how I do my highlight and contouring And then I'm using the foundation that I use just to blend the concealer together so that it can have a smooth transition of you know colors and also I'm going to contour I'm using this stick I got from um, Sephora it's amazing 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 if you can get it try it it's really good uh, from dark skin as well so I'm using that to contour um, below my cheeks and on my forehead and my nose too and let's not forget the nose <laughs> and then i'm using the beauty blender to blend the contour concealer that i applied i've used the sasha buttercup uh, setting powder to set my highlight concealer and then i'm moving on to my brows and i'm I don't want to say this but I'm going to have a brow tutorial coming up soon I keep saying that I'm so sorry I'm going to have a brow tutorial coming up soon before Christmas definitely and yeah so in the tutorial I'm gonna explain everything about um, using a brow pencil I'm taking a contour powder and just to set the contour concealer that we applied so that you can stay all night that's a trick about um, applying cream and powders together and I'm using this warm color from Queen's um, Covergirl Queen's collection and just to bronze up my face just to bring that warmth onto my face and then I'm using this blush from Catrice amazing blush I absolutely love this blush now I'm taking makeup geek eyeshadow in creme brulee and I'm applying it all over my lid and next I'm going to take another makeup geek eyeshadow in Coco Bear and I'm applying that on my crease as my crease color and I'm going to take another one which is called Bitten and I'm just gonna warm up my crease with that it's a little bit on the red side 
and I'm taking this black eyeshadow and I'm applying it just at the octo corners of my eyes and creating a wing with that and I'm blending it with a blending brush and I'm going back with the black eyeshadow just to create that long wing and then I'm taking this eyeshadow from Colourpop and this is called Too Shy and I'm applying it all over my lid all the way to the inner corners and blending it and then I'm taking this other Colourpop eyeshadow in Crinkle and I'm applying it just at the center of my lid and then I'm going to apply beating on my lower lash line and then I'm applying the black color as well on my lower lash line and applying the glitter at the inner corners of my eyes just to create that pop of color and next I apply false lashes from House of Lashes in Iconic and next I'm going to highlight my cheekbones I'm using the Gerald Cosmetics Star Powder in Lucy I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well I'm using a matte color because we already have a lot going on on the eye and next I'm lining my lips with a burgundy lip liner and I'm applying a nude lipstick a pinky nude and a pinky nude lip gloss and applying mascara to finish it off and that's it that's the finished look i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video take care guys bye